So to help me present the award for this year's Digital Influencer, I'm thrilled to bring to the stage someone whose content I love and whose star I've enjoyed watching rise, like I'm sure all of you have. Global superstar, Bella Porsche. Thank you for that lovely intro, Michelle. Being on the digital stage presents you with so many opportunities, like expanding your interests and using your platform in positive ways. This year's recipient has used his influence to speak about issues he's so passionate about. He has millions of followers and pushes the boundaries of race, gender, and self-expression with every post. Bretman is an inspiration to many an icon, and a friend, and I'm so happy to join Character Media in celebrating his current and future successes. Let's take a look at Bretman Rock's work. You're smart, you're beautiful, you're a triple threat. So, you're probably wondering how I got here. Me too. Somebody said I look really pretty. Thank you so much, I agree. We really want to go to the jungle to reconnect with Brent. Oh my gosh, you just caught me at the right time. Hello YouTube, hello Earthlings. It is I, Bretman Rock, singer, songwriter, actor, athlete, activist, singer, songwriter, actor, actress, athlete, activist, a scientist on the mother side. Yeah, yeah, a coconut water connoisseur and the newest MCV star. Action. <laughs> Busiest I've been in my whole entire career. I was the first male Playboy cover. I did covers for Nylon Manila. I am the face of the Be True campaign with Nike. Bretman Rock's ass is getting too fat for the phone screen. I want to be in a bigger screen. Well, it's not a show with a little bit of drama. Y'all, the salad was bussin'. It was so good. Oh my gosh, to be honest with you, I prepared a speech tonight and I forgot it all. And thanks to my lazy eye, I also can't read my speech tonight as well. Um, but before anything, I would like to address something very important. And it's my lips. It's swollen right now and you're probably wondering why. And I'll tell you why, actually. I was doing wall balls today while I was working out, which I would be doing wall balls. I know you see her. But I was so concentrated on what I wanted to say tonight that I got distracted and it hit my lip. So that's why like this side of my lip is a little swollen. I'm a beauty guru and like I can't be walking around with like crooked lips. So that's why I'm explaining myself right now. But at the same time as the ball hit my lip, it also hit me what I wanted to say tonight. And it's thank you so much. Character Media, thank you to all of you for being here tonight and for being Asian and just for giving me such a sense of belonging. Girl, are y'all gonna keep laughing this whole speech or am I gonna tell a speech or what? Shh, like, yeah, the laughter is distracting, really. Um, but I was also gonna say that I was gonna stand here and lie to you guys that I never saw myself on TV. But that would be a lie because my mom only really watched TFC growing up, so everything, everything that I absorbed on TV was Filipino people. So I was always seeing myself in TV. Yeah. So that's why when people say like, I never saw myself on TV, girl, change the channel. The, the hell? 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, but because they look so much like me, it was so hard to feel like a sense of difference. And I think that's what I was kind of looking for. And it wasn't until my mom won an iPad mini in her company jobs um, Christmas party. I don't know how she won it. I don't know how. I think it was like a raffle or whatever. But she gave me the iPad and that was when I found YouTube. And that's when I also found social media and I was making my first YouTube account in fifth grade. Don't tell my mom. I also made a Gmail for her to like accept the fact that I... Anyways. Um, <laughs> But it wasn't until I actually logged in on YouTube and I actually genuinely saw other Asians and I actually saw myself. And it wasn't until, it's so weird saying this, but it really wasn't until Michelle Phan and her. I know, I really could cry, but I'm not going to because this makeup took so long. Um, but she really had me rubbing like white egg whites all over my face in third grade, girl. She pioneered it all. All Asian, all I ever really saw in the beauty industry, my beauty industry, was really pioneered by Asian woman, Michelle Phan, Bub's Beauty, It's Judy's Time. And I also saw um, Ryan Higa, who's also from Hawaii, <laughs> making videos. And I wanted to be on Wong Fu Productions so bad. And I wanna, I really wanna do speed dating with Jubilee, and it's so weird getting this award after Jason. Like, what the hell? And also, since he's here tonight, I would also like to expose the fact that my first YouTube video got deleted thanks to AJ Raphael. Yeah, he, um, well, he never really actually reported my video, but it got taken down because We Could Happen was playing in the background. But yeah, it, he really like tried to take my coins, but I'm, I'm just kidding. Anyways, all of that, just to say how grateful I am for my generation to have so much um, options when it comes to expre expressing our activ um, activities, creativities. <laughs> and um, we don't only have like TV, we don't only have movies, we have like YouTube and TikTok and long, short, long and short formats. Like girl, our possibilities are endless. And it's just so weird I'm getting this award. Um, but anyways, if there's one thing that I would like to finish my speech, because I know it's getting long, I feel like I have the longest speech tonight, it's just that I promise that I'm gonna always be myself, I'm always gonna be gay as hell, Filipino as hell, and this is so lame, you guys, but my grandma would kill me if I didn't thank my ancestors tonight. Thank you.